beautiful people good day and welcome back to my channel it's your girl again Omolola, and this is lolita stitches youtube channel i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers out there thank you so so much this channel has wouldn't have been without you thank you for subscribing thank you for all the likes thank you for all the comments thank you for sharing my videos thank you for all the downloads I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart and I say God bless you. Anyways, if you are yet to subscribe and you are watching this video, kindly do that right away. Subscription is totally free, okay? It's free, trust me. So kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell beside it so that you will be the first person to get notified each time I upload a new video, okay? So today's video promises to be exciting. You're going to learn and relearn. Feel free to share my videos, okay? You have my permission already. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! All right, so I'll be making use of this beautiful Adire fabric. It is also known as Kampala. I'm making use of two yards of it and if i plus size i think three years should be enough and i'm combining it with this beautiful brush mount fabric also all right now i have my fabric on fold i've i've already folded my fabric into four as you can see one two three and four okay so that's how you, go, you are going to place yours too because it's a kimono dress so we are going to be cutting it we are going to be cutting the sleeve together with the dress that is why it's a kimono and i've already drawn my lines as you can see the first line is the the boss line the waist line the hip line and the full length of the gown all right so on the shoulder line now i'm going to be marking out 16 inches how did i get that i divided my shoulder measurement by two then added the length of the sleeve to it all right so you can just summarize that to 16 inches depending on your size 16 inches together with the seam allowance that is what i have on the shoulder and whatever i have on that shoulder i'm going to place it on the bust point now making use of my bust point and not the chest line i made my measurement from the sh shoulder to the bust point to the nipple all right that's the measurement i have right there so i'm placing that same 16 inches that i have on the shoulder i'm placing it on the bust point also and that is what i'm rolling out in a straight line okay so now from that um 16 inches mark i will go in all right okay let me place my bust measurement first on that bust line now i'm going to place quarter of my bust measurement my bust is 36 dividing that by four i have nine plus one inch for his because it's going to be a free dress plus one inch for for one and a half inch for seam allow, sim allowance and that is um fine so i'm going to come down by two inches from that um bust point then i'll connect it back to the bust line that is what i've done then on the waistline now i will also place quarter of my waist measurements plus one inch is and one and a half inch seam allowance the same thing is what i will repeat on my hip line I place quarter of my hip plus one inch for ease, one and a half inch for seam allowance. And whatever I have on the hip line, I'm going to place on the M line because we don't want it to be tight. All right, so I'm connecting it now from the hip line to the M line. And I'm using my cuffed ruler to connect from the waistline to the hip line, then to the boss point. All right, so now that I have everything connected, I'm sorry the material is colorful, but you are going to see a clearer picture when I cut it out. Now let's move to the neck. All right, for my neck part now, I'm making use of three inches for my neck width, and for the front neck depth, I'm making use of three inches also. So that is three by three. 
then for the back neck i'm making use of three inches for the neck width but one inch for the neck depth i hope you understand that all right so i'm just connecting that with my curved ruler now but while trimming we are going to be trimming out the back neckline first then we'll now separate it before trimming the front neckline i hope you get that you will see it when i'm doing it so what i'm doing now is just to connect the back neckline which is three inches wide by one inch or one and a half inches deep all right so now on the shoulder line all right so i'm going to trim the back neckline first then now on the shoulder line okay now i want to mark our shoulder slope i'm marking one inch for the shoulder slope so i'm just going to mark it right there and i'll connect from that one inch back to the nape of the neck just as you see me doing now all right so that we serve as our shoulder slope okay so now we can go ahead and trim out the back neckline first. Please be very careful at this part. Trim out just the back neckline. We are going to be trimming the front neckline later. Then I'll go ahead and trim the shoulder slope. Then I'll start trimming the sides of the dress. So you will see it clearly now when I'm done trimming. This is what you are supposed to have to if you have followed every instruction step by step all right so this is what we have now i will be separating the back all right so that i can go ahead and trim out the front neckline all right so now that i've separated the back from the front i can now trim out my front neckline all right we're going to be working a little bit for the front neckline you know this dress does not have a zip so that it can be easier for you to wear you need to come down from the front neckline you come down by at least four inches you can make yours five or six but between four to six inches is okay then you can just go in by quarter of an inch or let's say half an inch and you connect it to that uh, four inches mark or better still you can just slit the front open to that four inches mark but i like it when it's a little bit slanted like this all right so now that we have trimmed it can you see this is what we have for the front so that little slit is going to make it easier for you to wear all right so i've also gone ahead to cut out a facing for both the front and the back neckline but you can actually skip this you can finish up your neckline with a bias strip but i just like it when i use a facing because it makes it look as if I added lining. All right, now, so for the neck turning, that is where I'm going to be making use of my brown brush mouth material. I'm making use of this little piece that I, that was remaining from a dress that I made for a client. All right, so I'm just placing it now, like um, I'm placing it like 16 inches to the waistline and I'm trimming the front neckline together with the four inches slit that's what i'm just trying to trim out i hope you can see what i'm doing all right so i'm just going to follow the shape of the front neckline and i'll just trim it out like that okay so we are going to be using this uh, brown material to turn the neck. I'm just going to be working on the 
brown material alone for now okay so now we are going to make use of half of our shoulder measurements because we want it to end somewhere at the shoulder that's what i'm trying to place right there for my my shoulder measurement is 14 inches and half of that is seven i'm just going to add half inch for seam allowance so i'm marking out seven and half right there and looking at the picture we have on our screen it was a v shape at the front neckline i'm now judging from the inspiration all right so you can decide to make it whatever shape you want as for me i'll be making use of this v shape all right so that's what i'm just trimming out right there for the width of this material i made use of 16 inches okay sorry i forgot to mention that so you can decide to make it any shape of your choice i'm fine with this uh, v shape and now i'm just going to be placing it making sure the right side is facing up and the wrong side is facing the main fabric all right so this is how we have it and i will take to the sewing machine to go and stitch it together here i have my pockets this is my pocket piece and i'm making use of 12 by 12 that's that is a 12 inches wide by 12 inches long you can make yours 13 by 13 depending on how deep you want the pocket to be all right for stability i would advise you add um an interfacing of your choice yeah i'm using a medium gum stay is not too thick so you are just going to place it on that um v part of the dress so that it can stand very well and i also added gum stay to the brown piece all right i added gum stay on the wrong side of the fabric so that it can stand well and it can be strong all right so now i'll just take to the sewing machine and i'll go and stitch it down on the front piece alone all right so i'm just going to secure it with office pin before going ahead to stitch on my sewing machine so that's what i'm doing right now i'm securing it with an office pin then i'll take to the sewing machine after i've sewn it remember the facing we cut out earlier i'm now going to use the facing i'll place the the right side of the facing on the material so i'll use it to turn it in okay that is what i've done now did you see the way i placed the three together so now I've, I've taken to the sewing machine and i've stitched it together so now i'm just going to notch it all around i'll trim off that sharp edge so that i'll not have it pointy then i'll go ahead and notch it all through so i'll give it a good notch then i'll take to my pressing iron and give it a good press all right so that every side can fall in really nice can you see the way it's looking so after i've given it a good press and after the notch it came out really nice can you see how it's looking on the wrong side so you can just use your needle and thread to tack down the the facing all right so i did the same for the back I added the facing and i'm also going to notch it all round okay so i have a good finishing on the neckline now what i'll do next now is to take to the sewing machine and join it at the shoulder side can you see the way i'm placing it now so i'm just going to cover it like that to conceal the stitch and now i've joined it at the shoulder can you see how beautiful is forming gradually all right so now we're going to move to the sleeve so i've already cut out um like 2.5 inches wide of fabric for the sleeve part so i'm just going to place this piece now 
from the wrong side and I'm going to stitch it just like this and I'll match it so that we have that uh, brown effect on the sleeve it's not just be on the next side all right so now I'm taking to the sewing machine and I've stitched the piece to the main fabric just to add a little bit of brown touch to the sleeve part now I'll just bring it to the right side and I will use it to cover the stitch just as I'm doing now I'll take to the sewing machine and cover the stitch all right so now that I've covered the stitch can you see how beautiful it's looking in fact I really love I love the touch of brown that I'm seeing there all right so depending on the color on your own fabric just add a pop of color so that it can really come out nice then I'll turn it to the wrong side now and I'll go ahead and join it with my one and a half inches seam allowance that we added earlier so I'm going to join it at the sides and now that I've joined it this is what I have I would like to add pockets to my own then I've also gone ahead to elm it at the lower part I added two inches for helming allowance and I've helmed it at the lower part so I, I, I would like to add pockets to my own all right so this was the pocket piece we cut out earlier sorry I forgot to mention why joining at the side you are going to leave um, some allowance for the pocket all right so for me from the nape of the of the neck to the waist I'm going to mark 16 inches I'm going to mark 16 inches and I'll mark it right there so I'm marking my 16 inches right there then from the 16 inches mark now I will also go down from the 16 inches mark I will also mark 7 inches alright so that is going to be for my pocket space so I'm just going to take to the sewing machine now and backstitch I'll just run a stitch and backstitch on the 16 inches point and on the 7 inches mark then I will lose the stitch I have there before and I will fix my pocket. I have a detailed video on my channel. I'll drop the link in the description box on how to attach pockets to a dress. Do have to check out that video. So now that I've attached my pocket, this is how beautiful my dress came out. Subscribe if you have not.